Hey guys, in this video, let's uh, see what it would take to create a cool uh, mask for maybe a game character. So I'm going to grab this demo head here, uh, just so I have something as my base. I'm going to press Control D, uh, maybe a couple times. And let's go to geometry, and I'm just going to delete lower subdivision, just so I have something I can use for sculpting. I'm going to switch from perspective view to... Uh, orthographic view and I'm gonna hold down the control key go to my brush and I'm gonna select this new relatively new uh, mesh project and see if I can create a mask uh, for my character so I'm gonna uh, click on that and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my uh, active symmetry so I do not have that on holding down the control key I can now drag a selection of what I want my mask to maybe look like. So something like that is cool. Um, without moving anything else, uh, without changing the camera view, if I hold on the control key and go to uh, the stroke here and grab a circle, and then while holding down the control key the whole time, press the Alt key, I can actually drag a hole for the eye, something like that. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and hold Control Shift, go to my brush, grab my knife tool, and while holding the Control Shift the whole time, I'm going to click and drag up. And now if I press the space bar while still holding down the Control and Shift, I can position my slice where I want it to be. And I know this is about the center, so I'm going to go a little bit more over to the center. So I want to do something like this. So this is the center, and I want to do a little more. So like here. All right, then I'm going to let go. And that creates a nice slice. Now, if I uh, flip this over, um, let's see, if I flip this over, uh, I can flip it over and if you guys don't have these uh, that's under uh, Z plugin and that's under um, Subtool master and mirror so that's what that is right so it just flips over the geometry and now if I do mirror and weld that's a different button that will actually merge the two halves giving me a full mask uh, and this button, Mirror and Weld, is under, um, I believe it's under Geometry, Modify Topology, and there it is, Mirror and Weld. Okay, so now you have this cool uh, little mask. And if we want to, we can grab the Move tool, make it kind of large, and just, you know, adjust it a little bit. Uh, hold on the X key so you have X symmetry, and maybe make it fit a little better. Maybe the nose is a little too big here. So make your adjustments to what you uh, think uh, you need. All right, so I can hold on the shift key and just maybe smooth some of this or do polish. Um, I'm not liking the results. So I'm not ready to deal with certain little imperfections like right there. I can dynamesh it later and smooth it out. For now, I want to do one more uh, thing to this geometry. I want to grab my uh, pinch tool and what I want to do is let's actually press control D to give us more uh, resolution and now we can actually maybe make like a cooler nose for uh, for the mask so again that's just at this point sort of a preference but let's say I like something like this and again if I needed to move it I can adjust it a little bit. So let's say I'm happy with this nose. And maybe one other thing that I would like to do before I do more sculpting is maybe I want to punch some holes for the mouth. So for that, I'm going to go to my subtool and I'm actually going to say split, split on mast. So my mask is on its own layer. And here it is. 
I can see in geometry that it's 199 points, right? So that's uh, that should work. So let's go to Subtools. Let's append a uh, cylinder. Select your cylinder layer. Grab Scale. Change the size. Maybe move it in front so we can see it. Just keep adjusting it. So the hole should be maybe something like this for the mask. And holding down the shift key, I can just snap it about 90 degrees, put it in position, and maybe move it to the side a little bit so I can mirror it in a second. And if we wanted to, we can hide the head and the teeth and make sure that the cylinder actually punches through. So you can see in this case it does, right? It punches through the geometry all the way. Now, if I hold on the control key, I can drag it down. Still holding on the control key, I can make a third one. All right, now if I hold down, release the control, so you can see there's three of them. And I'm not too concerned about the fact that this is not fitting well yet. I'm gonna hold on the control and do a selection to clear my selection. Now what I would like to do is actually mirror it over to this side and maybe mirror and weld. So we have two of them. All right, so these are gonna be the holes in my mask. So now I actually wanna see what that actually looks like. So for that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this and move it up. And actually I'm gonna move these eyes all the way up to the head. So I have my mask and then my cylinders right and now what i'm going to do is go to render render booleans live booleans turn it on and i actually have my um, live booleans dragged down to my interface and now if i press this uh, icon here with in the cylinder level cylinder uh, lay, uh, layer right i can see what the holes would look like so now I can actually adjust them because this is live booleans. I can uh, maybe center it and maybe make it a little smaller. I can drag them into place so they punch through all the way. So again, if you click on this icon, you can see what the cylinders look like. And then if you click on this icon, it's giving you a preview of what the live boolean or the boolean would look like, right? So something like this. So I think that looks really cool. Uh, next, I'm gonna commit my change. Um, I don't need the live boolean uh, tool anymore, right? So now what I'm gonna do is actually click on this button here as a start, because I don't want my booleans to punch through the face and the teeth and all that. I just want to use the mask. So I want to make sure that this button is clicked and it's kind of a long arrow showing you do not go past this line, right? So now what I'm gonna do is while the uh, cylinders are selected, I can go to Booleans and say, make the Boolean mesh. And as soon as I press it, watch, watch your uh, tools up here. You can see that a new mesh was created right here. So now I'm done with all of these. So I can actually uh, delete this. I no longer need it. And I can even delete uh, this one as well. And so now I'm left with the face, right? Now, if I go to append, I can grab my uh, mask that was just created, add it to the scene, and voila, here's my mask. If I needed to, I can always adjust the color, right? So maybe we want it to be a little darker. Uh, let's do fill object, and I'm gonna make sure my standard brush is selected and my RGB is on, on the mask layer. I'm gonna just go say fill object and that's under uh, color fill object, right? Now I can go back. Now, since I filled this color in, I can change the color of the rest of the mesh. All right, so that's a really cool uh, way to create a uh, mask really fast. Let's jump out of our orthographic view so you can see. 
And if we do a BPR, we can see what that looks like. So it's a cool, uh, really cool, powerful flow workflow to create um, awesome masks. Very, very fast. Now, if you guys wanted to create straps, um, you just select your head, go to uh, brush, and let's see, for the straps, we want to use something like maybe curved tube snap. I think that's what I would use. Or I'm thinking of actually something else. Maybe curved strap snap. This is the one I was thinking of. So this is the one you want to use because you can see that it actually looks like a strap, right? And this would be perfect for a mask. Um, and now if I turn off my symmetry, I can just drag the strap of what I want it to be. Maybe something like this. I can put it in place. Maybe make it a little uh, longer. Once you're done with it, you can just click on the gray area to make a deselection. And now, of course, you can just mirror it over and create the, uh, the other side. So in this case, maybe we can split the uh, unmask so we have the strap by itself. And now we can do a mirror and weld. And here maybe you have a little connector that connects the two, or you can use the move tool uh, to connect them together. We can use move topological if we wanted to, just kind of pinch them together. It's one way of doing it. So I'm kind of doing it fast and, and cheap, but you get the idea. So that's uh, pretty much it. You can press control D to make it more, uh, give it more resolution. And yeah, so this is, uh, this is how I would go about creating a uh, cool uh, mask for, uh, for a game character. Now you can Z remash it and do your, your uh, UVs and bring it into Substance Painter for painting. And it's ready to, um, you know, to be added to pretty much any face. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.